David here with Monofit Training Systems. Today I'm going to show you an alternative way to use some exercises that you're probably very used to, but you probably haven't done them in this way before. So what we're going to be doing is push-ups, squats, and sit-ups. And we're going to do them in a way that really will test your uh, static strength and your overall strength. This is body weight only exercises, some of my favorite stuff to do. And the first thing we're going to do is push-ups. So what you're going to do is going to do 10 push-ups and then hold the top of the push-up for a 10 count. Now I'm going to use this as a demo and I'm going to do maybe uh, 10 and then the next numbers down uh, in a descending order. But you can start wherever you feel comfortable starting. So if you don't think that 10 would be the good way to go for you, then feel free to do 6 or, or 8. But ideally we're trying to stay with even numbers here. If you feel like you can go every single number all the way down, then feel free to do that. But basically, you're going to do 10 push-ups and then count to 10 or basically 10 seconds. You don't want to count as fast as you can. You want to count a 10 count. Then you're going to do 8 push-ups and then you're going to count to 8. And then you're going to do 6, count to 6, 4, and then 2. Okay, so I'm going to go through the 10 and 8 just so you can see what I'm talking about and then we're going to move on to the other exercises. As you see there, that becomes quite challenging as the reps decrease, but the thing that's big about this is your time under tension. Tons of it, and that's one of the unsung heroes of fitness. Now, one of the ways that you can use these three movements is you can use it as a warm-up into another workout. You can use it when you really don't have a lot of time and you want to get some quick work in because this will take you maybe 20 minutes or so depending on how much of a break you need in between each set. Or a lot of people who run as their main form of fitness or exercise, they're not really big on lifting weights. This is a movement or a series of movements where you're using body weight only and you're going to get a little bit another, another level of fitness. You're going to kind of take your fitness to a whole new level by developing some upper body strength, some leg strength, and then of course some core strength. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the squats right now. Same concept, you're going to do 10 squats, hold the bottom for 10 reps, or, I'm sorry, you're gonna do 10 squats and hold the bottom for a 10 count. Then I'm gonna to go to the eight, and I'll show you how that works, and then we'll go to the next exercise. The last exercise we're going to do will be sit-ups and Russian twists. Same kind of concept, you're going to do just the even numbers, so 10 sit-ups, 10 Russian twists, 8 sit-ups, 8 Russian twists, and so on. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you get through this whole set, or if you get through this whole workout 
and um, you find that you can do every single rep, go ahead and bump that up um, and do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all the way down. Um, there's going to be a ton of muscle recruitment. There's going to be a ton of core use. Core gets used or overused a lot, but all those muscles that make up the true core of your body really do get used a lot when you're holding a static position, especially when you're holding the bottom end of something, whether it's the bottom of a push-up, top of a push-up too, that's also a lot of value there. But holding the bottom of a squat, there's a lot of value in that. So play with different rep schemes, but make sure that you're counting at the right speed. Don't just count to get it over with. And the one thing that I've said many times in other videos is failure is important. If you do, do not succeed at getting from 10 to one, that's a win. If you do succeed, you prove that you can do it and you have to find a way to make it more challenging, okay? So I'm gonna do the last movement and then we'll finish up. Okay guys, that is it. Thank you for watching. Um, like all of our videos and all of the different movements that we do, a lot of these things tie directly into other elements of your fitness, whether it's cardio or weight training. This really does show you what your body can really do with just itself as the uh, resistance. So try these movements. If you have any comments or things to say or questions to ask, just go ahead and put it right there in the comments below. I hope to see you again next time. Thanks again.